All right, good people. Please make sure that if you hadn't done so already, that your name is on the front of your of your packet. Um, we've already completed the warm up. Okay, and I, we did Tuesday and Wednesday, so we should be caught up on the warm ups. Today, I'm going to model how to find a midpoint and in and an endpoint if you're given the midpoint and an endpoint is missing. So we got we're going over midpoint and endpoint. We have a practice sheet that we're going to do. And then after which I want you to work on your math technology project. Remember your math technology project is due on Friday. So I need for you to get that out the way, please. Your study guide. Um, remember, I'm going to give you some of the answers on the study guide. Please make sure you show your work. Okay. If you don't have paper to show your work on, I can give you some more paper. Number one is A. Number, I'm going to get, no, number two is that open ended or whatever. Number four is C. Five is B. Six is B. Seven is C. Eight is C. And nine is B. You should at least have those completed. Let me do 10. It's C. Please go back and watch the video on Canvas. Um, so that it's, it's on the eighth week page, please go and watch that video so that you can get help with the study guide and prepare yourself for the test. Tutoring is after school today. Some people already told me that they're staying. That's good. If more people want to stay, that's fine. It is today. Um, you can get help with the project. You can get help with the study guide or prepare for the test, whatever it is that you need. Your ride has to be here again at 3.30, Okay. Go ahead and put this away and take out your interactive notebook. Anyone still writing before I move this? Okay, I'm gonna pause for the calls. All right. Okay, interactive notebook. We're doing midpoint and endpoint. This is page 25. going to find the midpoint and then we're going to turn around and find the end point and we're going to practice okay pause for the calls give you a chance to write all right let's get started okay so some key vocabulary words that you need to make sure that you understand is you, you must understand what a line is a line by definition continues without end in both directions. Let me start it down this way. In opposite directions. So with the line, you'll see arrows at the end of the line. Sometimes you'll have names of a line. We'll take a part of a line and label it, maybe A, B, okay? And then sometimes they'll ask you to name a line. And when you name a line A, B, you have a line right above it, or you can do B, A, and you have a line above it. And if it's a line, instead of a line segment, you'll see the arrows at the end. It continues without end. A line by definition goes on and on forever and it never ends. Okay? Now you have what you call a line segment. Just take one of the pencils there, please. Switch out. Yep. All right. A line segment is has two endpoints. It is a part of a line. say it is a segment is a part of something it's a fraction of it so a line segment is a part of a line okay a line segment is a part of a line 
So it has two endpoints. So line segment, you could label this as uh, C and this is D. And when you're naming it, it could be line CD or it could be line DC. Okay. Midpoint is the point that's in the middle of a line segment. So with a midpoint, you have a line segment. This is a line segment. You have this as an endpoint. This is one end of the line. This is another endpoint. This is the other end of the line. The point that is in the middle, right dab in the middle, it's called the midpoint. To find the midpoint, you use the midpoint formula, and we've already done this in our project, but we're going to write it again. We got midpoint formula. Your midpoint formula. First, your midpoint is an ordered pair, okay? And in order to figure out what that point is on a coordinate plane, what the X, what that Y is, you're going to take the endpoints. This endpoint is X1, Y1 because it's the first endpoint. This endpoint is X2, Y2 because it's the second endpoint. Doesn't matter which one you label as the first endpoint or which one you label as the second endpoint. It's two of them. It doesn't matter which one comes first or second. So to find your midpoint value for x, the x coordinate for the midpoint, you're going to take the x's together, add them, and divide by 2. So you have x1 plus x2 and divide by 2. You have to find the y coordinate of the midpoint. You take the y's, y1 plus y2, and divide it by 2. That's going to be your midpoint formula. Any questions? Let's do an example. All right. Let's do two points. These are endpoints. We got endpoint two, comma, negative three, and endpoint five, comma, positive six. Find the midpoint. So first you label, right? X1, Y1 is the first midpoint, I mean first endpoint. X2, Y2 is the second endpoint. Any questions? To find the X value for the midpoint and then the Y value of the midpoint, use the midpoint formula for x is add the x's together and divide by 2. So let's add the x's together and divide by 2. That's 2 
plus five divided by two. What's two plus five? Seven. And then what's seven divided by two? 3.5 or three and five tenths. Three and five tenths is the X coordinate for the midpoint. Any questions about that? Okay. Thumbs up. I get it, Ms. Reyes. Sideways, I'm confused. Please vote. Aiden, can you vote, baby? Okay. All right. Jacob, sit up. All right. Let's find the let's find the Y coordinate. Jacob, how do you find the Y coordinate? All right. He's looking for his notebook. Um, Renee, how do you find the y coordinate? Yeah. Well, you add, um, y1 and y2. Very good. So that's negative 3 plus 6 divided by 2. Excellent. So let's add those together. What's negative 6 divided? I'm sorry. What's negative 6 plus mm, negative 3 plus 6? Three. Okay. 3. Sorry, y'all. Then we got 3 divided by 2. What's 3 divided by 2? 1 and 5 tenths. Please, Jacob, move a little bit faster, baby cheeks. This is your midpoint. Thumbs up. I get it. Sideways. I'm confused. Taylor, I need you to vote, babe. Thank you. Chloe, um, Ash, I need you to vote, sweetie. Do you understand? Okay, good. All right. All right, so now let's do endpoint. Logan, you get it, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, anyone still writing? The car you writing? Okay. Can you let me know when you finish? I'll pause. All right, let's do endpoint now, okay? So this is page 25, continue. If you're on the second page, if you're not, then you don't have to write it. I'm on the next page, so I'm writing it. Okay. Asia, do you understand, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now let's do this. Now we're finding the, one of the endpoints. That means I'm going to give you one of the endpoints, and the midpoint, and you have to find the other endpoint, okay? So let's draw a line segment. Let's make this endpoint, let's make it five and, five and three. And let's make this one 12 and three okay oops sorry let's not do that this ray is because this is the one we're trying to find let's do let's let's do let's draw a line longer right and let's do this at 12 what did i say 12 and 12 and three, 12 and three. all right so now this is what we're trying to find okay so what we want to do is we want to label everything, okay? And then use the midpoint formula. All right, so this is X1, Y1. This other second endpoint is the second endpoint that's X2, Y2. Any questions about how I came up with those numbers? I mean, with labeling. Now, this in the middle is the midpoint, so we just label this as X and Y. Now, in order to find the missing endpoint, find missing endpoint. You're going to use the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula, I'm abbreviating midpoint, is to add the x's together and divide by 2 to find x. And then add the y's together and divide by 2 to find the y coordinate of the midpoint. So now we're going to write this out. We're going to find x first. Okay, so we're going to use these two. So let's find, let's figure out what x2 is. So let's write the formula for x. So the midpoint x is equal to the two x's added together and divided by 2. Write that first. Any questions about where I get that from? All right, so now let's substitute the numbers that we know. Let's substitute. Aiden, are you okay with it? All right. So let's substitute. What do we go? What number do we put in the place of X? 12. Good job, Jerry. 
bring down the equal. What number do we put in the place of x1? Five. Five. What number do we put in the place of x2? We don't know. We don't know. Divided by what? Two. two. All right. So now we need to solve for x2. That means we got we got to get x2. Wait, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Don't open my door, baby. So now we have to get x2 by itself. Any ideas of how to get x2 by itself? Gotcha. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I got you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, how do we get x two by itself? Yes. So wouldn't, wouldn't you take 12, double it, and subtract okay. Yes, you would. He's exactly right. We're gonna get rid of the two. This is division. So we're going to multiply both sides by two. When we multiply this side by 2, what do we get? 24. We get 24. Bring down the equal. This is gone, and we're left with 5 plus x2. That's a subscript. Now how do we get x2 by itself? He said it just a minute ago if anybody was listening. You subtract. Very good. Let's subtract 5 on both sides. What is 24 minus 5? 19. 19. So we got x2 is equal to 19. So the end point here is going to be 19. So this is 19 so far. Comma, now we got to figure out, we got to figure out what y is. Y2. So what's the formula? What formula am I going to use to find y2? What do I write? Uh, he's already given me one. Does somebody else know? Jaden, do you know? <laughs> no, that's okay, baby. I need you to focus so you'll know. Emma? Very good, babe. So we got y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Good job, sweetheart. So now we're going to substitute the numbers from the problem. We're going to substitute. What are we substituting for y? Hugo, what do we substitute for y? You substitute three. Good job, babe. Bring down the equal. What are we substituting for y1? Um, Tanaya, what do we substitute for y1, babe? Three. Three. Good job. Plus, what do we substitute for y2, Bilal? Nothing. Very good. Just y2 because we don't know what it is. Divided by two. Jaden, do you understand where I got those numbers from? Okay. All right, so now we got 3 is equal to, no, Ms. Reyes, just go ahead and solve. No, no rewrite, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, so now what are we going to do to get y2 by itself? Last time Jerry told me I need somebody else to be thinking about how to do this. Renee, what do you think? You're going to multiply, very good, both sides by 2. Good job, babe. We'll see. So now, what does that give you on this side, Christian? Six. Six. Bring down the equal, okay? The two is gone, and we're left with three plus y2. What's wrong? I'm choking. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. So now, Robert, what do we do? Uh, subtract, three. subtract three. Good job, babe. So we subtract three on both sides. Jacob, what does that give us? Muller? Father, heavens above. Jacob, Muller, look up here. What is six minus three? Three, thank you. Please pay attention, baby cheeks. This is gone and we're left with Y2. So now our y coordinate for the midpoint is three. What? Oh, 
Are you sure? Okay. I thought that was No, you're fine. Shh. All right. So now I, I do need for us to practice, okay? I'm going to do one more end point with you because I want to make sure that you understand it. Can you check to see if it's correct? Midpoint, I feel like you 100% get that because you've already done midpoint. But it's the end point one that I'm not 100% sure that everybody understands yet. Okay? You basically got to the yeah <laughs> 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 Anybody else need a sheet? Can you get one? One more? Exactly. I thought somebody was going to say that first, but nobody did. It's okay, though. I'm glad you noticed that. All right, here we go. Okay, so now with these, because I want us to get used to using the midpoint formula, I need you to write out the midpoint formula, substitute and solve. Then I need you to graph it. I'm going to model how to do that. So we're going to write the midpoint formula at the top. Midpoint formula that we're using, add the x's together and divide by 2 to get your x coordinate for midpoint. Add the y's together and divide by two to get your y coordinate for the midpoint. Please write those down. Any questions about the formula? All right, so let me model what I need for you to actually do. We have the two ordered pairs. Okay, so we're going to write out our two ordered pairs. The first one, negative one, two, three, four, five and negative one, two, three, four, five. Negative one and negative one. Now we label x1, y1, first endpoint, x2, y2, second endpoint. Any questions so far about what I need to see? Now we're gonna use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint, okay? So we're going to add the x's together. That's negative 5 plus negative 1 and then divide by 2. Then we're going to add the y's together. That's negative 5 plus negative 1 and divide by 2. What's negative 5 plus a negative 1? Negative we got negative 6 divided by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2. What's negative 6 divided by 2? So your ordered pair for midpoint is negative 3 comma negative 3. So you need to graph that. 1 two, three, one, two, three. This is the midpoint. Huh? Any questions about what I need to see? Are you not to do that? You just mark the middle. Mm hmm Yep. Anybody else? Oh, yes. How do you choose how to like the X one and Y one? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. I just did the father's point away. It doesn't matter which one you label as X1. You're adding them together, so it doesn't matter, Logan. Yes, baby. Nope. That's the same as the restroom. You you used yours this week. All right. Any questions about that? All right. So let's turn over and let's look at one for endpoint, please. 21. You are not going to have enough space to do this on that paper. So this right here, this I want you to write in your notebook. We're not doing these, okay? But you're doing this part, this section in your notebook. Because you're going to paste this sheet in your notebook, okay? 
So this you're doing in your notebook. Notebook uh, 21 through 26. Any questions? All right, so let's go to our notebook and let's write down 21, please. We're going to label the first endpoint. Yes, baby, page 25. Um, so this is X1, Y1. Then we got our midpoint. I'm going to just abbreviate midpoint. X, Y for midpoint. And then endpoint is what's missing. X2, Y2 is missing. Any questions about how or why I wrote it that way? Jaden, please make sure that you listen, okay, babe? If you can't write and listen at the same time, I'm going to leave this up here. So you can just pause, watch what I do, and then copy later. Okay, Jacob, I need you to listen also. Bless it be, Father. Yes. So which was the one you did about 21? 21, and I put two. I, it, it looks like two. I'm so sorry. It's 21 through 26, baby. Okay. Shh. All right, we ready? Yes. Okay. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to use the formula for midpoint. We're going to, to find the x uh, to find x2, we're going to say x is equal to the x is added together and divide by 2. We're going to find, we're going to use the formula for midpoint to find y2. We got the y's added together and divide by 2. Any questions about the formula that we're going to use or how we came up with that formula? So now let's do the y, the, I'm sorry, the x first by substituting, Okay. Please listen, because I'm going to call on you, okay? All right, so let's start with Silas. What are we substituting for X, babe? Negative 9, good job. Bring down the equal. Jaden, what are we substituting for X1? What are we substituting for X1? Stop looking at him. Look at your paper and think about it. Negative 1. Thank you, babe. Plus, we don't know what x2 is, so we write that. And then divided by 2 is a part of the formula. Any questions about how we wrote that? So now what are we going to do to solve for x2? That's the one we're looking for. Bilal, what are we going to do? Multiply both sides by 2. Good job, baby. When you multiply this side by 2 over here, Anthony... What do we get when we multiply 2 times a negative 9? Negative 18. negative 18. Good job. Alexander, we multiply this side by 2. We're left with negative 1 plus x2. What are we going to do next? Add 1. We're going to add 1 to both sides. So when we add 1 to both sides, Aiden, what is that going to give us? Negative Very good, babe. So our x2 coordinate here is negative 17. Now we got to find our y2. So we're going to substitute. Leroy, what are we substituting in the place of y? We would substitute negative 10. Good job, babe. Bring down the equal. What are we going to substitute, Logan, for y1? Oh, you're going to substitute 9. You're going to substitute uh, 9. No, sorry. Nine is right, yeah. I had to look at it again, Lord. All right, now what are we going to do? Taylor, what are we going to do to get Y by itself? We're going to multiply both sides by what? By two. Ash, when you multiply both sides by two, what are you going to get on this side? Negative 20 equals what? 
Very good, babe. All right, now, Jackson, what are we going to do to get Y2 by itself? Um, we have to, we have to subtract 9. You're subtracting 9 on both sides. What does that give you? Um, that'll give you um, 11. No. Oh, wait. That'll give you 0 on that side. Okay. And that gives you just the Y, Y2, right? Mm -hmm. What about this side? Negative 20 minus negative 9. Uh, isn't that negative 11? No. Uh, negative 29. 29. She's not laughing at people. Y'all be making people nervous to, to speak because y'all laugh. It ain't Y'all act like people that are laughing act like you are never wrong about anything. You are always right. You are not always right. Why are you laughing? No, it don't matter though. Shh, it's just, it's not, it's just, it's kind of, it's slightly bullish. Okay, because it's like, you know, I know you don't mean it in a malicious way, but it's slightly bullish because these people take that stuff to heart, you know? All right, any questions about that? You okay? Yeah. Forgot you was here. Shh, Caitlin. Shh. Did you want to sit at the table? Yeah, I like this seat. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're lying, aren't you? What's up? You're looking at me? Shh. I need you to finish this. I need you to finish this up. Okay, Shh. and I need you to finish 21 through 26. Let's do that now, please. Shh. When you're fit, yes. When you're finished, you need to paste this in your notebook, okay? All right, let's do it. Yes. Yes. Yes, Bilal, we do that. We do the front, one through one through eight. If you can't see it, this is number seven. This is number eight. The number got chopped off. So you're doing the front, and then on the back, you're only doing 21 through 26, okay? Now, if you ask me what to do, I'm going to tell you to do all of it. I'm going to tell that person to do all because I need you to listen, okay?